Okay, right there. That little red dot right there is a squash vine borer egg. And they were everywhere. So all I do, squish it in place, dead. Find the other ones. Oh, see, right there. Once you find one of these, you are going to find a lot more. These eggs are really simple to take off. You can literally just scrape it right off into your hand. And what I've been doing is putting them between my thumbnails and just popping them. Um, if you pop them on the vine like I just showed there, just be careful. Don't go in it like, you know, the hulk and just brah, crush everything. Gentle, because you don't want to break the stem of the squash or the zucchini, and just pop it. You'll hear a little pop and it's gone. But you got to look for those because, you know, I'm not going to catch them all, but every one of them that I do catch, I'm happy with. Okay, so we're over here. These, this plant right here is the zucchini plant, and this is a zucchini plant. Now, you can see how big that zucchini is. Beautiful. And then look at all the other zucchinis that are starting to pop up. Beautiful flower right there. That is a beautiful plant. Now, if we come right beside it, same kind of plant. We've got zucchinis growing. Hopefully, they'll actually mature. But I already think this one right here has blossom and rot. I'm not sure. We'll see. But as you, I mean, if you look here, the plant looks great, right? Beautiful green leaves. I mean, can't really complain until you come down and you see that right there. Look at the damage the vine borer larvae have done to this plant. The only good thing about this is that it's on this plant. But it, no, never mind. It's on that one too. Now this plant right here has all those zucchinis that I just showed growing, but I did not see that. I did not see that five minutes ago. Doggone it. Well, oh well, it is what it is. So what I want to do is we're going to cut this plant right here. I've, we're going to open this vine up and see if I can find the larva that's in there doing this. Okay, so this is the one that is really, really affected right here. So we're going to just take this whole stem, this whole plant's coming up. This whole section right here. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here at the base of this plant. And we're just going to cut it off right below the right below the surface line. Just like that. So now we have this plant. Let's go dissect it. Okay, so right off the bat, before we cut into this plant, I wanna let you know, I have no clue if we're gonna find a worm in here or not. You're gonna learn the exact same time that I do, but I'm really, really hoping that there's a worm in there or more of a caterpillar, but we'll see. So let's do it. Okay, so as you can see, the, the center of these plants are hollow, right? See it right there? And that is where the vine, the squash vine borers live. They live in that hollow center. And then they slowly eat the plant from the inside out, like you can see here. But what it does is it obviously, it kills the plant. So, Let's see if we can find this little punk. Well, no luck so far. Still no luck. Okay, so, so far no luck finding one of the little caterpillars, but I'm not done. I have a whole lot of, <laughs> of squash that they have destroyed, so um, give me a minute. 
Okay, so I have no clue what that top insect is, but it is killing that wasp. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so what I went over there and I did is I just grabbed the first squash plant that I could find. And what I noticed right off the bat was right there in the center was was disturbance to the plant root that or to the vine that was very fresh now i opened it up already right there you can see where the cut is and what did i find well let's go ahead and let's detach this part from that part okay y'all get ready to see Public enemy number one. That, my friends, is a squash vine borer larva or a caterpillar. That is what becomes of those little red eggs that I was squishing. And you can see the damage that it does. As you can see, it just sits in the hollow part of the squash or the zucchini plants and it eats it from the inside out. Now, what this guy doesn't know is he is about 10 seconds from death. But that is what kills your squash and zucchini plants. Right there. Whoops. Right there. Alright everyone, say goodbye to that one. As y'all just saw in this video, I've taken, I've shown the examples of the, the egg, the caterpillar that destroys your squash and zucchini plants, and then what that caterpillar becomes if it's allowed to live, which that one did not. It's dead. So whenever you see anything on your squash or zucchini plants that look like the examples that I've shown, you've got a squash vine borer larva in there somewhere destroying it, or you had one in there and it has since moved on to another one. Now, really the only way to combat these little punks is to plant companion plants around your squash or zucchini that helps mask the smell of those plants because that is what the moth that creates these little guys focuses on is the smell so you want to plant dill sweet alyssum um, cosmo you want to plant plants that will hide that smell and that is a natural organic companion plant for squash zucchini um, squash and zucchini if you have not looked into or researched companion planting it's Brian Lowell's companion planting for beginners find it on Amazon Barnes and Noble wherever you get your books read that book it is very 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 insightful or check out my video series I did a review of his book it's four videos all very designed and specific to what I am, which is a beginner gardener. So if you're brand new to gardening and this is the first time you've seen a squash vine borer, um, the only way to <laughs> the only way to really save your squash or zucchini plants um, is to companion plant. And I did not do a good job this year, obviously. So it is what it is, right? It's gardening. You're always gardening. learning, and you're always going to be dealing with pests. So. Um, All right, everyone, so that's all I got for this video. Again, this was a short video. I wanted to really focus on the squash vine board to really show it from seed to that little punk that destroys your, your squash and your zucchini plant. So, hey, if y'all learned anything from this, please share it, especially if you know someone who's having issues with their zucchini or squash uh, crop this year, please share this video with them. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I'd appreciate it, especially if I've earned your subscription please hit that button. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Just type in Down Home Backyard Gardening into the search box and you'll find me. And as always, everyone, besides just being in the garden, always looking for pests, continue to shine bright and harvest hard.